everyone and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we are following the trend of last week and sticking in the world of NECA um, trying to tie it desperately into Halloween because this week is Halloween week. Um, we are going to take a look at the ultimate Casey Jones from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 film. Um, this is the uh, the redecoed, uh, single carded, single boxed release of Casey Jones. Uh, you may have seen this figure before in a two pack with uh, with Raphael in the trench coat, but uh, the big difference in this figure is uh, we have the the Elias Coteus uh, likeness. So. Um, quick tour of the box before we open it up and take a look at what's inside but you know all that great art from uh uh you know the the photography of the figure and of course you know all the art harkening back to the the 1990 film on the bottom of the box as always we have the people involved we'll do a quick roll call here uh, of course randy and trevor uh design and development the sculpt by kyle and and uh trevor grove fabrication uh, Roger Fernandez and Anthony Minichino paint uh, the wonderful John Wardell and and uh, and Jeffrey Trop and packaging, of course, by the super talented Chris Ramo. Um, so inside, we have more art of the figure as usual, and then Casey here and a ton of accessories. And of course, once we get this guy to the light box, we're gonna take a look at every single one of them. We, but we got tons of hands. We got bats. We got uh, we got a cricket bat, in, and of course you, you got to know what a crump is to know what a cricket is. So, um, really, really, really uh, good job here on the packaging for those who are mint collectors. But let's get this guy into the light box and take a closer look at 1990 Ultimate Casey Jones from Next. You got to know what a crump is to understand cricket. I'll teach you. All right, so here we have Casey Jones out of the package and. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's start with the accessories first. Um, so we'll, we'll go from most mundane accessories to, to most interesting accessories. So of course, uh, we get a series of hands with Casey, uh, you know, for, for beating up uh, Foot foot Clan. It's, uh, we, we get fists. We have a very tight grip. We have uh, again, very you know, very a, a slightly larger grip. We have that tight grip again for uh, the other hand, and then we have that slightly larger grip. Um, the other two hands that we have on are a wide grip that you see there, uh, as well as the pointing hand, which is awesome. Um, all of the hands are very well detailed and textured. You know, they have the the cut off gloves, the fingernails, the knuckles, everything is, um, is sculpted really well. Paint is pretty tight. Uh, you can see al along the kind of rim here, closer to the, the edge of the glove, there's a little bit of flesh tone there. Um, the hands are also, uh, they have a nice flex to them, you know, in order to be able to get uh, items in the hands. Uh, very, very well done there. Um, you do get a second head sculpt here so this is the sculpt that was on or very similar to the sculpt that was on the Casey Jones figure that came in the uh the two pack um what's really nice about uh you know this this sculpt I, I don't have the other one to compare it to I I passed on the other one um I forget who it was but credit to whoever showed that there was an Elias Coteus face under there that was just kind of not finished um that made me believe that we would get this version of him someday so I'm, I'm glad I, I held out but you can see his eyes under there um, you know his mouth they are painted throughout the mat or underneath the mask the mask uh, kind of disappears into his hair in the back hair it's just really nicely done um, pops on and off easily and then of course uh, the 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 face that we see here so really really great job on the likeness um, he looks like he's stepped right out of the film and he's also showcasing some of the other accessories that we get here. So, of course, we get the uh, the golf bag. We get the hockey goalie stick here with some really nice paint apps uh, and deco on the tape. The tape looks real. Um, 
looking at it through the lens of the camera, it actually looks more real on camera than it does in person, which is kind of crazy. But uh, photo, uh, so obviously photographs really well. There's some really great wear and kind of dirtiness and griminess on the tape, which is awesome. Um, and then you also get uh, you get a driver. Um, I will say. Uh, just be really really careful with this guy it is really thin mine has a slight warp to it but it feels it is very very thin um exercise caution that's all that's all i'll say but really well sculpted really well done um it scares the living daylights out of me uh then we get a a regular hockey stick and again really nice it even has the the curvature to it which is which is really cool um, I'm always thinking, you know, what else can these apply to? So, you know, if you have, uh, you know, even if you have Jay and Silent Bob figures and you want to give uh, Silent Bob a hockey stick, you can. Um, there's no Dante and Randall yet, but yet maybe we'll eventually get them. Um, then, of course, we do get, uh, and the other thing that's nice is too, as you can see, everything fits inside the bag nicely, snugly. Um, we get two baseball bats. So I'm just going to take out one here. But we get two, uh, two little baseball bats. Awesome, you know. Again, same same thing goes. You know, there's wood grain deco, the tape deco, and then uh, of course we get the uh, the cricket bat. So yeah, I'm gonna take some of these out so I can get this out. We get the cricket bat, and you got to know what a crumpet is to know what cricket is, right? But uh, awesome job again with the tape, with the wood grain, with the paint, the deco, fantastic. And then lastly, we get the mask off. And what's really nice is it can, you know, sit it, the, the way that the um, straps are designed. They're designed to look like they are resting on something. You know, these are this this mask is not going to fit on the unmasked head, but um, it, it drapes nicely. Really great detail, including the pads. Oops, drop it. Ugh. Really great detail, including the pads on the inside of the mask. Uh, you know, just, just really, really, really well done. Really nice touches throughout, um, you know, uh, just what we've come to expect at this point, right? Um, I'm going to take this off of him so that way we can go over articulation real quick. And the other thing that I'm happy to report while I'm, I'm taking this off is that once again, you know, for like the fifth or sixth NECA figure in a row, no heat necessary. Um, Casey Jones moves straight out of the box. Nothing, none of the joints needed to be heated up or anything. Um, so in terms of, you know, paint and, and detail, you know, as, as I mentioned, the textures are all there, you know, including there's, there's a textured uh, chest hair going on there. Really nice dark wash that kind of brings out the wrinkles and uh, and and bumps and stuff on his sweatpants, his shirt, his and, and his uh, his cut off denim vest here. Um, just f fabulous. This might be one of the best. This might be the best likeness that they've that they've ever done. Human likeness. Um, this this I think this rivals the the uh, McCready thing figure in the, in that realm. Um, in terms of articulation, so. You know, we have our standard, uh, sorry, uh, bar and ball joint here. So, you know, he can, he has really great nuance to his head. You know, you can tilt, you can uh, look down, look up really well. Um, moving into the shoulders, we have just ball joints here, but um, really, really well done in terms of, you know, amount of articulation. They're not going to go super, super far back, but, you know, you're going to be able to get him into fight poses really easily. The single jointed elbows will get you to 90 degrees. And then we have uh, rotation and pivot at the wrists. In the middle here, in his uh, waist, there is a, uh, you know, we, we have the ability to rotate. So we got that, that lower articulation there. And there is a little, I can feel it in there. There is a little bit of an ab crunch. So, you know, he, he will bend over. He will bend back. Um, it's really nice. You can't see it. You're not going to get a whole lot out of it, though. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, the legs. Uh, Casey is just about able to do the splits, which is nice. You know, again, for, you know, fighting poses, he can kick out about that far. And then he can kick straight back out. And then we do have a single jointed knee, so you know you aren't getting him past 90 degrees there. And then at the foot we have just regular uh, uh, 
rocker and um, rotation. There isn't a whole lot of pivot there, just a ever so slight. It's because of the sculpt, but um, you know it, it keeps it accurate. So you know that's what you're looking at in terms of Casey. So why don't we see how Casey stacks up against some of his friends? All right, so uh, here we have uh, Casey next to April O'Neil and a foot soldier, and of course Mikey, um, and they're they're all on perfect scale. I mean, NECA just doesn't mess this up <laughs> when it comes to this. It is so cool to see all of these figures together uh, finally. Uh, absolutely love it. Cannot cannot wait to shoot these properly. But uh, the, the scale is excellent, and uh, and. Boy, are there going to be some throwdowns now that uh, now that Casey has has joined the party? So let's uh, let's flip this around and uh, let's wrap it up. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Um, this is another huge, huge, huge win for uh, for the team over at NECA. Um, this figure just absolutely crushes it, and I uh, frankly it might be my favorite uh, my favorite TMNT figure uh, in, in the line. And I mean, there have been some really good ones, including the. The, the tour turtles but uh no i the, the, this really is as you saw in the light box it's it's fantastic from from soup to nuts from accessories to detail to articulation to paint it's it's just all there it's tight it's awesome um and it looks like a little version of casey jones i cannot wait to shoot this properly try to recreate some scenes or some moments um yeah it's absolutely fantastic right now this is a walmart exclusive um there have been no announcements in terms of there being a NECA store uh, order for this at all or uh, you know his availability anywhere else. But right right now you can find him um, as of the recording of this video, which is, uh, you know, like I said, Halloween week. So late October 2021, um, he is still hitting Walmarts in kind of that, that reset. So it's him, um, the Super Shredder variant, and then some of the other kind of like Halloween uh fall-esque toys they have like the, the the ninja turtles capsules those like ten dollar plastic ball things but uh yeah absolutely fantastic figure definitely keep an eye out for it um if you have the original casey uh you know this is a huge huge upgrade um especially just with that head sculpt it's just just fantastic um so as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so that way you don't miss videos like this where we take deeper dives into the toys that we love. Uh, while you're down there, leave a comment. Let us know what your favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figure is from NECA or from anyone for that matter. And, uh, and while you're hitting that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so that way you get notifications when we post new videos. While you're liking and subscribing and commenting to things, Follow us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter, where we're constantly posting toy news, toy availability, deals, photography, anything that we could find around the network to highlight that's, uh, that's, that's worth your time. And then, of course, the podcast. So the Adventures in Collecting podcast can be found wherever you find podcasts. Simply search for Adventures in Collecting or hit the link in the description below, which will take you to all of the things that I just mentioned. Stick around after the fade for some additional photos here of Casey Jones. And as always, until next time. Uh, I should have said Cowabunga. Why didn't I say Cowabunga?